Hey guys, Bridge here and in this video we're going to talk about uh, tips and advice in order to create uh, amazing SaaS UX experiences. Now let's get started with the very first principle which is organization and hierarchy. And by the way we're using a Cryptoly kit which you can find in UI8 or also in the link in the description. And uh, basically one of the most important things that you want to consider whenever you're dealing with uh, SaaS companies uh, is the fact that you have to have a crystal clear USP, which is the unique selling proposition. And you want to have a clear hierarchy of what you want to communicate that is going to help uh, the user. So essentially, what is the company all about? And you almost want to have almost a pyramid of needs, meaning that the very most important thing that you want to communicate to the users must be communicated right away above the fold in the landing page, for example. And right after that, you want to communicate the secondary importance elements, the tertiary important elements, and so on. So that hierarchy of need should be created even before you create the very first wireframe and also the visual design. So having an understanding of your user is fundamental because at this point, if you don't really know what the users are looking for, it's not going to be easy. And I understand that when you're a startup and you're just starting out, uh, you're going to have to guess uh, in a lot of cases, although there's definitely ways to gather those informations from the users, even before you write a single line of code or not down a line of design. So definitely something which is super important, especially for SaaS companies with competition, since nowadays there are so many competitors and the only real way to stand out is to offer a better service, but also having crystal clear communication and a design which is going to communicate and solve their problems and you know be professional and, and all that so definitely one of the most important things to consider is organization and uh, our information architecture and the hierarchy in general and the second most important thing which i want to cover in this video and uh, it might not uh, apply as much uh, to designers uh, as it is to owners of SaaS companies, is to create uh, a experience which is consistent between the website and also the web app. So most of the times, uh, or at least uh, in my experience, I, experience, I actually found out that a lot of companies hire maybe like two different designers to create uh, the web app and the website. And uh, that creates uh, sometimes a mismatch between the styles between the two, or maybe they hire a designer, a UX designer for the dashboard and the web app, uh, and they hire maybe a company or a design agency for the website. And uh, usually that doesn't work out uh, as well. Sometimes it does. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about figuring out uh, the and a way to create a style which is consistent between the two experiences. And the reason why this is important is because uh, it's uh, almost uh, it's actually all about branding, and it's almost like a person which uh, you see in a business meeting. Uh, basically with a certain type of clothes and then uh, you walk out of the room and you see them in a completely like different uh, uh, clothes. It's, it's almost like a, a mismatch in uh, the, the personality. So I'm not really saying that it's going to make or break a business, but it definitely can help a lot. And uh, again, guys, it really depends also on the size of the businesses. What applies to startups is not going to apply to corporate companies. And uh, it also really depends on the market. But one of the things that you want to keep an eye on is to create a consistent experience. You don't want users to just log in over here, go to the web app and feel a completely different uh, uh, company almost. So another thing which uh, is really important is to keep in mind is uh, exactly that. Now, another thing which uh, is uh, important to keep in mind is the use of color. So colors can be used in order to aid the visual communication in a design project. So for example, 
we can use the primary blue over here in order to use and drive attention to the call to actions in a very strategic way since it creates a lot of contrast with the background and especially when it comes to call to actions you want to keep the contrast high you don't want the call to actions such as buttons and links to not stand out because that's going to impact the click throughs and uh, just you know the conversions in general i think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory so this is definitely something which you can use it to your advantage and in this case they're using for the blue as their main branding color but one other thing that you can consider doing is probably go with uh, another tint which is complementary so it's going to stand out even more such as uh, you know a, a yellow or an orange something around those lines so one thing to keep in mind about that is uh, that you always want to create uh, a contrast between the call to actions and the background and the context and another thing which uh, is uh, really important is to have a clear pricing structure you don't want the pricing to be um, just not clear because that's definitely going to impact uh, you know the uh, the click-through rate and uh, or actually the subscription rate and uh, yeah just your business in general so the pricing must be crystal clear you have to outline all the possible pricing solutions and i know that from experience that some SaaS companies are going to have uh, easy pricing meaning that it's uh, maybe like free options and it's pretty straightforward but other SaaS companies have a lot of complexity in their pricing meaning that there's a lot of different variables and it's very clear it's very important to make that clear and sometimes we might think that the solution that we created is indeed clear but uh, maybe it isn't for the users and the reason being is that maybe we've worked on it like so much that it's obvious for uh, for us at this point and the way that you actually tested the pricing is uh, very easy um, it's also very cost efficient and that is that you only you you basically uh, send a demo to a potential user or simply to you know a group of friends and uh, then you ask them specific questions uh, related to the pricing in order to understand uh, if everything is clear and by the third or fourth person you're going to have a clear idea if the pricing is indeed clear and if you got all of the points down so something to keep in mind and user testing of this kind of in a very informal fashion works really well for pretty much all of the element the other elements for the web apps and the websites so quick user testing uh, and just you know asking for opinions and yeah quick prototype in figma maybe it's going to definitely work uh, a long way when it comes to clarity of communication so i really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i want to remind you that i recently launched a free course on how to get started in ui ux design so feel free to check it out if you're interested in uh, this field now i myself have been a ui ux designer for over nine years now and i'm sharing my experience in the over 400 videos that i have on youtube for free and um, yeah so feel free to check it out and uh, i'll see you in the next video